Josh Duggar receives his sentence after being found guilty on two counts of child pornography. Back in December, an Arkansas jury found the former reality star guilty of one count of receipt of child pornography and one count of possession of child pornography. He faced up to 40 years in prison, 20 years on each count, and $500,000 in fines, or $250,000 on each count as well. At the time of the verdict, Duggar's attorney said in a statement, We appreciate the jury's lengthy deliberations. We respect the jury's verdict, and we intend to to appeal. The United States Attorney for Western Arkansas also released a statement following Duggar's conviction, saying, Regardless of wealth, social status, or fame, our office will continue to seek out all individuals who seek to abuse children and victimize them through the downloading, possession, and sharing of child pornography. Duggar and his family previously appeared on TLC's show, 19 Kids and Counting. However, it was canceled in 2015 after a 2006 police report surfaced in which Duggar was accused of sexually molesting four young girls and a babysitter. It was later revealed that the young girls were his sisters. No charges were filed due to the statute of limitations expiring. On January 19th, 2022, Duggar's lawyer filed a motion seeking an acquittal or a new trial. The motion was denied, and Josh subsequently received his sentence. During the trial, prosecutors accused Josh of using the internet to download child sexual abuse material in May of 2019. Josh was arrested in late April 2021. He was released on bail days later and pleaded not guilty to both criminal charges in the following month.